basic uses and properties of dismissible widget. Dismissible is a widget that lets us perform actions on swiping its child widget, such as removing or deleting items from a list, etc. You might have seen such functions in application like Gmail. To demonstrate dismissible widget, I will be using a list view dot builder widget. And return card in list tile as its child. I changed my home page to staple widget since we'll be managing the state here. Let's create a list of string, so we can provide the data to the list view dynamically, instead of hard-coded. Now let's provide the data to item count and text widget from the list we created. Once we are done with all those, we can wrap the card widget that we returned with a dismissible widget. The only required property of dismissible widget is key property. It accepts a key object. Key has to be unique for each element or widget of the tree. You can either use unique key or value key. I will be using a value key and provide the name of the string from the list as its value. Another important property of dismissible widget is on dismiss property. It accepts a function. The function provides a direction parameter. For now let's just remove an item from the list on swiping. Here I wrap the dismissible widget with gesture detector and use its on tab property to print the length of the list in the console to see if the item is actually being deleted or not. You can actually use on tab property of list tile. I forgot about it and use gesture detector. As you see in the simulator and console, on swiping from left to right, the item get deleted from the list. Background property of dismissible widget accepts a widget. It is the widget that is rendered behind each element as we swipe. If you don't get it yet, have a look at the simulator. It will help you understand about it. I provided a container with an delete icon as its child. We also have secondary background property. It is same as the background property of dismissible. It accepts a widget as well. The only difference is, if secondary background is provided, the left to right direction swipe renders the background widget, and right to left renders the secondary background widget. Have a look at the simulator. If you ever want to perform different action on swiping different direction, you can always use the on dismiss property. It provides a direction as parameter. You could use conditional statements with a direction parameter that we receive, such as if direction equals to dismiss direction dot end to start, then do this, or start to end, then do this, etc. So I'll tell you what you want to do with it. Size duration property. It accepts a duration object. It lets us set the duration of the animation after removing an item or performing an action. Have a look at the simulator to understand it better.
direction property left is set to which direction the users are allowed to swipe it and accept an enum that is dismiss direction have a look at simulator with this property we can restrict users to certain swiping actions default direction is dismiss direction dog horizontal that's all for basic uses and properties of dismissible widget. As always, thank you for watching my videos. If they are of any help to you, do not forget to leave a like to the video and subscribe the channel to support it and get all the amazing Flutter widgets videos that I will be coming in the future.